hey guys welcome back to a brand new vlog guys so in today's video we are going to be starting the patio porch um i am going to try to power wash it with the power washer that we have in the garage so let's get started so guys this is the power washer right here this is the one that we ended up using when i did the patio last year and this is what we're going to be using to try to power wash the porch um this is how the porch look right now so i'm gonna try to power wash it to where it gets like kind of like all the paint off um, like I said, um, it has like the regular paint that was on there and the other one, but we're going to try to turn it on and see if that paint can come off. So basically, we tried to power wash this. It was a fail. Um, as you can see right here, like you could tell where it tried to like get some off. But when I tried to do it on here, it just was not. As you see, it just kind of got like lines through it or whatever. It was just not fully trying to um, get it off. So yeah, these are just like the lines that it made, but it just wasn't like i would need something else to get this off but yeah i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go to lowe's and get the um cement paint um instead of the kind that i have right now and probably paint it but what i want to do is i want to make sure this is completely dry but i had used the power washer right here and look how i got up all that dirt <laughs> you see the difference so yeah i'm gonna let this dry and then we're gonna paint
Hello and welcome back to a brand new day guys. So I am dressed for today. I'm about to head out. I'm not even sure what I want to do first, but I know I want to get my nails done. Um, and I want to make a couple errands. So yeah, I'm going to show you what I'm wearing so we can go ahead head out. I have my Chanel bag, some little black biker shorts, um, a white tee tied up with my Hermes slacks. And then I have the ponytail in today with my um, regular accessories that I wear all the time with my bracelet and my watch. So yeah, this is outfit of today. Now let's head to the car. So I decided to come to Burlington real quick before my nail appointment. I just want to see what they got. I feel like I haven't been into like Burlington in a while, but I have been going to Ross. But I'm gonna go in Burlington and see what they got and just kind of, you know, see what the vibes is.
good morning y'all so basically the time right now is 9 no 8 39 okay um and basically i just got finished working out um so right now what i want to do i actually want to start the porch or whatever um i did go to lowe's yesterday like i was telling you guys and i had got some new paint um i had got this tea corn black he had to add like five ounces of extra black dye so i just hope that it's really close to my door um apparently black paint like black black paint is very hard to get when it comes to the porch patio um so that's kind of weird I'm very nervous that it's not going to be the um black that's on my door and it's going to i don't know i'm just nervous but um let me show y'all the color real quick though okay so this is how it looks and basically this is what i had at first which is just not black it was a dark kettle black which is just not black at all i got this one and then he added like five more like five more ounces y'all just to get it blacker i didn't realize how hard it was to actually get it black so we are out here this morning all we have to do right now is get started so i'm about to go ahead and take you guys to the front so we can get started um hopefully it don't rain today but yeah let's go ahead and get started this is how the porch looks right now um and i got the paint over here which is looking concerning but <laughs> um yeah so i'm basically about to go ahead and start painting i want to show you guys how the paint actually looks close up but i'm kind of like ready to go ahead and get started um i just hope it works out yeah um I'm thinking if I should probably tape off this little bottom part. I think that's what I'll do so it won't hit the brick. Because as you can see, the last one kind of hit the brick. So I think I'll tape this off first.
okay guys so this is how the porch is looking right now now this is the first coat of paint I repeat this is the first coat of paint okay now what I was concerned about was it not being the exact color it is not the exact color okay but the door is not really getting no sun so I do feel like the, the door will probably blend more if it was getting sun right now this is how it looks because the porch is like has sun so it's like it's kind of brighter but nonetheless it's still not the exact color but I want you guys to comment let me know is this a big deal or am I overreacting like or is it fine and I'm just being OD crazy I don't know but make a long story short this is the black color that we're going to go with this was the blackest that I was able to get it at Lowe's today um I went through so much just with this whole paint situation like I said, I didn't realize how hard it was to actually get that jet black. Because the thing is, this black is not a porch black. This is the porch black is why it can't be exactly this black. Because they said that I can't get this black right here. Because um, I guess it's only certain um, shades that um, it can be. So, um, but as you can see, like the little step stool is kind of blending in. But I feel like that's because cement, you know what I'm saying? And the door is more of that you know like shiny um material but yeah this is how it looks right now i want you guys to comment let me know what you think um i do want to go ahead and put a second coat on i'm pretty sure i want to do that but right now this is what i'm working with it's pretty much dry i could pretty much go ahead and do the second coat um i just wanted to uh show you guys how it looks with the first one so i'll put the second one on in a little bit here so you guys are probably able to see the color more um on here but as you guys can see it has like a don't pay attention to that like when i poured it it was a mess i didn't had a little sprout pour thing but as you guys can see like the, like the type of black that it actually is um and as you can see like this chair is black like you can kind of see the difference but nonetheless it blends in enough um and stuff like that but i need to actually get this off because I plan on DIYing these chairs, so I need to get this paint off of here, so let's take this in the house. Okay, y'all, so it is a little bit later in the day, um, and I did go ahead and put the second coat on. So far, so good, but I don't want to show y'all until it's, like, completely dry, so we can all just get, like, the color color. So, um, I did leave it to dry a little bit. I did a second coat probably, like, an hour ago. So right now it's sitting, but in the meantime, I end up going to Kroger's and grabbing some stuff. And then I also grabbed me some flowers for this week. So this week we got some red roses. Okay, aren't they gorgeous? Don't we all just deserve, okay? We all just deserve, okay? But, um, so I was gonna go ahead and, um, basically like, you know, make my little roses or whatever. And then also I got this, um, candle from Burlington yesterday that I want to show you guys, which is really cute, cozy. So I ended up getting this candle yesterday, it says Bless. Um, this is a brand that's held in um, Burlington. It is the Autumn Wool. So I'm very excited because it's giving a fall vibe, sis. But it's not too fall, but it's like fall enough. So I was like, oh, hey, I can see the vibes. Like, you know, with the red roses and the candle, like so cute. So basically I wanted to like set this up in my kitchen. Um, I know this is not like a super glam space, but I do think I can make it like feminine, right? So um, I'm gonna go ahead and make some water. I'm gonna go ahead and use my gorgeous um, fish bowl right here. And then we're gonna go ahead and um, make some water. I wanna actually start cutting these roses, which they look so pretty. And they still got them for $7. So I was like, ah, right, yeah, let me cap. Cause I mean, it only take you $7 just to, you know, just to make your woman happy. Like, go buy her some flowers. Go treat yourself to some flowers because we deserve it. We got the flowers right here. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to put some ice in there. Oh, let me not forget the food. I always forget the food, y'all. Y'all, sometimes the food be like kind of moist and wet. And then it'll come out clunky if it's like that. And I feel like that just comes from the water that's inside the roses. Last time it was so clunky. Like you can tell it's clunky now. It gets wet, like the food actually gets wet and it'll come out looking clunky and it's like, it doesn't spread evenly. Um, I want it to spread evenly so it can get everywhere. Are these too long? Let me just see when I put them all in there. 
but because I don't want them to be too short and like I said y'all know I like the dramatic look anyway I like when they kind of like go in different ways but I don't want them to be too too long though yeah see these might be too long yeah these too long I can tell I just think the leaves just make them look so pretty <laughs> I know y'all probably like, girl, cut them leaves off. I like the leaves on there sometimes. I know last time I had took the leaves off, but I feel like I want to keep them on here this time. They just look so pretty with the leaves on it. It's definitely giving fall. That's why I had grabbed like the red ones because these kind of remind me of like my like my maroon that I'm doing in my um living room for fall. So that's why I was like, oh yeah, let me grab these real quick. These look so pretty. Oh my God. Okay, let me slow down because y'all know I'm geeking. Now, and what I was going to do was I was going to take this tray right here. Y'all, I'm doing extra stuff. I'm telling you, it's the refrigerator. The refrigerator got me thinking I'm in a whole new kitchen. Like, I'm about to do it up. Y'all know I'm about to go hard. But um, I'm going to take this tray right here and I actually want to put these on the tray with the candle. It's going to be cute. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and put this probably in the freezer because once my ice is done um, freezing, I'm gonna put it inside of here. So, I'm gonna just sit that right there. Okay. Now, we're gonna go ahead and clean this stuff up real quick and I'll be right back. Okay, loves, it is looking so cute in here. So cozy. So, Basically, I put the flowers on this little tray I was telling y'all about, which looks so, so good. And then I end up putting a candle on my little, um, which I'm kind of glad I put it right here because this would not even fit on here with this big flower. But um, I put my little candle right here on these little things that I got from TJ Maxx. That's supposed to be for the kitchen too as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and light these. This is a two wick. Like I said, it's very cozy and it is the autumn wool. And it came from Burlington and I believe it was, I think it was $7.99. Um, but it's a very, very, very elegant candle. I think it's super, super cute. So yeah, I just think they go so cute together. I want you guys to comment, let me know what you think about this look. Cause y'all know I'm loving it. And then just like the roses and stuff is just kind of making it um, even more like, you know, fall vibes. But slightly romantic too. I could see these vibes in the kitchen. Candle burning at night. That's a move right there. But. Yeah I just thought this would look really really cute. And I was right because it looked so good. And as you guys can see with the candle. It just really just creates such an ambiance. Like girl. A vibe so I want you guys to comment let me know what you think about this look for the kitchen is it too feminine <laughs> I think it's cute and I feel like I'm, I wouldn't mind having a little kitchen that got a little hint of glam you know with a little candle but I definitely um love this look so yeah comment let me know what y'all think Okay, y'all. So basically, we tried to power wash this. It was a fail. Three, two. There she is, guys. She looks so good. Now, like I said before, it's not the exact black, but it's enough to where it just kind of blends. If that make any sense. Um, I did wipe my door off. And then I also put my little wreath back up there from the summertime. 
and then I put my little hello sign back on my little um side right there because I was thinking about doing like a neutral color one but I really feel like the black just kind of stands out so when I get like like new decor for fall because uh, I don't even know what my color scheme will be um I want it to be like um that color like a black and white color because I feel like it just stands out more I want you guys to comment and let me know what you think but this is how the porch look close up and this is with two coats of paint right here okay and like I said um, also um, I forgot to mention earlier the um, black paint on here is like a black matte so that's probably why I look like that because it is like a black matte on the door so and I also got to take these little white things off as well but this is how I look yeah I want you guys to comment let me know what do you guys think and how it turned out I think it looks super cute and I just think the black looks really really good plus it just matches the door and it just makes sense so yeah let me know what y'all think I just wanted to show y'all real quick get another little sad view And like I said, I want like white furniture because I feel like the white will just really stand out because it because the floors are black now. So I think the white will really stand out better. Comment if you guys agree. But yeah, that's the reveal. Um, and that's pretty much it for the front porch as um, far as painting it. Um, yeah, so I'm excited though. I'm glad that it's finally done and it just look refreshed and just looks better. And then the black also just... Um, goes better with it as well so i really love that as well but yeah comment let me know what you guys think then let's go in here and try to do a little diy with it. so guys we have the little chair right here now i'm not gonna lie i was very much so in between um getting rid of this and getting new furniture or just trying to diy it but i would like it i mean i don't know i don't know what y'all think i mean because I'm like, or do I want to have like a different style? I'm not sure, but right here is the old chairs. And I had just wanted to DIY it just to see like how it would actually look. So I do have this spray paint right here and it's quite a bit still in here. And I just wanted to see like, how would it look if I had spray painted this white um, in like the satin bright white. They said it's at Lowe's. I had got this last year when I was doing like another project. So yeah. That's kind of like what I want to see. What I'm going to do is I'm going to wipe it off and then we just going to see how it looks. Because I mean, what's the worst that could happen? Regardless, I'm going to have to get, you know, either spray painted white or get new furniture because I'm not going to have black on black because it ain't going to do nothing but blend in. But so I definitely want this to be white for sure. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think that'd be cute. So yeah, let's get started. Cool child. Did y'all ready to try this out? Yeah, this end up. <laughs> <laughs> Just watch it. Yeah, I can see. But y'all. So I want you guys to comment and let me know like, did you guys have these chairs? And if you guys have these chairs, have you guys really ever tried to DIY some front porch chairs? Yeah, I would not recommend. Um but I just wanted to try it before I dyed it, you know. Um if that make any sense. Well, I paused for a minute because I seen how much spray paint was coming out of here and I didn't want to get on my car. But nonetheless, um, I think the arms and stuff was looking really good, like the metal part and stuff. But the thing is, is that I didn't want the chair to be black and white. I wanted it to be all white. But when I realized that it was probably going to take a lot more, maybe spray paint and just more effort. Um, once I got to like the sitting part and like the back part, it was just taking up so much paint. Um, and it was really just starting to look like kind of like patchy. And then that's when I was like, mm, this might not work. But I want you guys to comment let me know. Have you guys ever spray painted a chair like this where it had like the nets in the, um, you know, seat? And for the back because as you can see I tried to spray paint it 
But I just feel like it wasn't given. Like, I think it probably would have been a different story if it was like an all metal chair. But you can tell the difference between like the neck part and like the back part and the part that you sit on versus the metal. It just looked totally different. And I kind of feel like this part right here just looked tacky to me. Is why I decided that I'm going to go ahead and get new furniture because this is not going to work out. But it good. I'm going to tell you now. It seemed like it was working out for a minute, but as I started doing it more, I was like, this is not going to work out for me. Um, but yeah, basically, this is like kind of like the style that I would like. Um, I can probably even order these chairs on Amazon because um, that's where I got them from. But like I said, they was in the set. But I think what I want to do is see if they got them in like a white but um yeah because i want to put white on the porch like it's it's a lot of black on there right now and i just want to pop those whites and stuff like that so yeah i want you guys to comment and let me know if you guys ever tried this because it was a fail sis we might um go look for some other 